Jacob is so much known to all of us. How he fled from his brother and his wrath. We'll read from verse 10. Everyone turn to our own Bibles. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward heaven. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night. Because the sun was set and he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east, and to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How wonderful is this place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it upon a pillar, set it up for a pillar, and poured oil upon the top of it. And, be, and he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at the first. Now here we see one thing very clearly. As he was fleeing from his brother Esau. He came into this place. In the darkness of that night. Lying under that, you know, starry skies. When he slept there, he had a vision. 
and he saw a ladder and he saw the Lord right on the top of it and God spoke to this man and finally as we read here he set up a memorial at that place where God visited him it was a place of God's visitation a place where he met with God in his life. He called that place Bethel. He said that this is none other but the house of God. So he called that place Bethel, the house of God. And he said, this is the gate to heaven. God's house is the way to the things which are pertaining to heaven, pertaining to God and God's eternal purpose. Now listen carefully, this place of God's visitation, this place where God made a covenant with Jacob, and that, that covenant he made with Abraham and Isaac will be even in his life and through his descendants. And he called that place the house of God. But listen carefully, saints of God. But in the process of time, Bethel became a place of idolatry. That is the tragedy that happened to Bethel in the history as you read through the scriptures. A place where it was said this is none other place but the house of God. A place of God's visitation. A place of God's covenant. A place of God's promise. A place which is a, 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 a gate of, of heaven. That very Bethel turned out to be a place of idolatry over a period of time. Saints of God, are you hearing? Are you hearing God tonight? This is what happened over the years. This is being repeated in the midst of God's people. And this can be repeated in our midst as well. Amen. Amen. Let's take the warnings of God into our lives. The place of God's visitation turned out to be a place of idolatry over the years. Why? How? Who is responsible for it? God's own people. Now turn with me to the book of First Kings. Yes. First Kings. 
chapter 12 adina mandrana mathe aaya and i would read verse 28 to save time Whereupon the king took counsel and made two cows of gold and said unto them, It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Do you remember the exact words in the book of Exodus? Yes, no? Remember one thing, that golden calf that Aaron made many, many years ago begin to reappear again in the midst of God's people and here is the king Jeroboam saying very clearly to God's people Aharon undaki aa kaala putti aneka varshangal kesesham veendum deiva janangalude mattathu thelnathunnayittu nam kaanunnathu and here he says oh israel which brought thee up out of the land of egypt Saints, if you look at the history of the church and every perverse teaching and doctrine the enemy brings into the church every such perverse teaching that has come to the church the same old thing reappears in a different way in the church again after several years that is what the powers of hell do against the church of Jesus Christ but then there were men who could accept be open to the powers of darkness to defile God's people Verse 29, listen very carefully. And he said one in Bethel. He said one golden calf in Bethel. You can name your church Bethel, house of God. We can give beautiful scriptural names for our local churches, but that is no guarantee, saints of God. We can give New Jerusalem. But it can be the headquarters of Babylon. There is no guarantee, saints of God. Listen carefully to God's word tonight. And here we find Jeroboam. He made two golden calves. One he is instituted or he plays in Bethel. The place where God met with Jacob made a covenant and promise with Jacob a place of God's visitation a place that was called the gate to heaven now he's become a place of idolatry <coughs> verse 31 And he made an house of high place 
and made pleas for the lowest of the people, which were not the sons of Levi. Saints, that's what we see today. A people who are not called out and separated unto God has been brought in and set up as leaders in many, many places today, which are called the church. Everybody is starting a church. Everybody is becoming a leader. Everybody is becoming a preacher. God's word and his principles are being changed to man's ways and man's ideas. And verse 32, And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month. On the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah, like unto. And he offered upon the altar, so did he in battle, sacrificing unto the cows that he made. Amen. A place of God's visitation. Now that very place of God is substituted by a golden calf. And he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. Which he had made. For this right as one man and destroy the enemy and he'll cleanse the church from all wrong like a weeping Jesus songs he'll strike the Pharisees with one blow he shall bring ungodly down see the sun see the sun just the church right before our eyes see his love see his love that the sun story right before our eyes that the sun story right before our eyes neither buyers will be left nor sellers will be Church that Jesus Christ the bill the thieves and hypocrites shall be judged by the sun and the church shall be purged from their law. See the sun, see the sun, see him judge the church right before our eyes. That the sun restore it right before our eyes. See the sun, see the sun, see him judge the church right before our eyes. See the love, see his love. Sun restore it right before our eyes. That the sun.